NASA is shutting downing more scientific instruments of Voyager probes. NASA decides to shut down two more scientific instruments on the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft. All of it, to save some energy and extend their missions. The Voyager 1 and 2 probes launched in 1977 are powered through radioisotope thermoelectric generators. They convert heat from the decay the plutonium is plutonium for electricity. However, this energy source begins its exhausting. To extend the mission of the cult probes and let them continue collect data, engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL, February 25 disconnected on Voyager 1 cosmic ray subsystem radiation detector it's a space. Additionally, it is planned to shut down Voyager 2 detector on the Voyager 2 low energy charged particles, or low energy charged particle the subsystem. This is due on March 24. After that, there will be three on each of the probes working scientific instruments. Voyagers have been stars of deep space since launch and we want it to stay as long as possible, said Suzanne Dodd, the manager. Voyager project in JPL. But electricity is running out. If not now we're shutting down the instruments on each Voyager, they'd probably have a few left months of power supply, she added. Both spacecraft have identical sets of 10 instruments the scientific. Some of the instruments, especially those intended for collection data during flybys past the planets were turned off after completion exploration of gas giants of the solar system. Others have failed. NASA specialists have decided to leave the shutdown of these instruments that scientific team considered it important for the study of the heliosphere and space interstellar, a region beyond the heliosphere. The helisphere is a protective bubble of particles and magnetic fields produced by our sun. On this border the solar wind destroys its velocity, and the pressure of galactic winds begins to outweigh the pressure the solar wind. This border is about 18 billion kilometers away the Sun. Voyager I spacecraft crossed the heliosphere and entered space interstellar in 2012. Six years later, the Voyager spacecraft also made it two of the no other man-made spacecraft was operating in its interstellar space. Off on Voyager 1 last week Cosmic Ray Subsystem is a set of three detectors designed to test rays space accelerating processes of particles, electrons from Jupiter and the composition of particles in planetary magnetospheres. March 24 on Voyager 2 low energy charged particle subsystem will be disabled. These are two detectors located on a rotary platform for the study of cosmic rays, energy particles of solar and planetary origin. The rotary the platform provided detectors with a 360-degree field of view. Voyager spacecraft has far crossed its Earth craft the original mission to study the outer planets, said Patrick Cohn of Voyager program at NASA. Every additional bit of data we have collected from this time, is not only a valuable scientific bonus for heliophysics but also a testament to the exemplary engineering that was implemented on the Voyagers, he added. On Voyager 1, a magnetometer and a wave receiver still operate plasma wave subsystem. Low energy charged particle subsystem, i.e. low energy charged particle detector, which will soon be off on Voyager 2, it will run until the end of 2025 but will be left turned off in 2026. Voyager 2, Plasma will operate on Voyager 2 after March 24 Wave Subsystem and Magnetometer. Cosmic Ray Subsystem, or Space Radiation Detector that was disabled on Voyager 1, is expected to operate until 2026. The scientific data collected by Voyager probes are unique. That's why NASA specialists are fighting for every additional day of their mission. After the shutting on these two instruments, 
Voyagers should have enough power to work for about a year before the next instrument is he had to be turned off. Engineers indicate that with at least one A functioning probe instrument should be up to 2030, but they say also, that probes travel through an unknown environment and an unforeseen event can to shorten that time. Voyagers explore a region where no one has arrived a spacecraft, Linda Spilker of the Voyager Project in JPL, admitted. It means that every day can be our last. But this day it can also bring another interstellar revelation. That's why we do everything we can to ensure that Voyagers 1 and 2 continue her pioneering activities as long as possible, she emphasized. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 remain the most distant objects created by man. Voyager 1 is now more than 25 billions of kilometers. Voyager 2 is about 21 billion kilometers away the Earth.